Welcome back to another episode of Sunshine on Lathe. If you're still enjoying it, drop a like. That would be most fantastic. It's the final episode of the season today. There's a lot of things on the line. Uh, us and our chances of getting into Europe, which I still think rely on we have to beat Sheffield United in this game here and then somehow try and scrape some points in those other fixtures. But frankly, the bigger issues for the rest of the league are down towards the bottom. It's crazy. So here's how things look at the moment. Um, with that win, Blackhaven move up to... Well, they've actually slipped down again as a result of that. 39 points they've got, and they're not safe. They're only four points clear. Arsenal, 30 points. They are six points from safety, and they have five games to go. I don't know who they're playing. Uh, Sheffield United have dropped like a stone. They've lost 10 of their last 11 league matches, and they snuck a 1-0 win. I think might have even been against Arsenal uh, as their only victory in that period. Why are we playing at Carrow Road again? Are we back at Carrow Road again? Okay, so when I, when the board said they were extending the stadium, it said at the end of the season they were extending the stadium. But we've done one game in the stadium, and now they've gone, nah, moving back to Carrow Road for the rest of the year. What are you doing? Okay, weird that. But there you go. That's the situation. Um, There's a lot of stuff on the line here. Anybody still from, like, really from Watford down could still get relegated. But realistically, it feels like it's more like 11th down. And it's, it, I mean, anyone could get relegated. Let me know. Who do you think is going to get relegated? I have no idea. Even West Ham could still stay up. They probably won't. So, Grigsby picked up a slight knock, but he should be fine. Uh, we played really well in the last game against Norwich, so I really don't see any reason to change things up particularly. Ropas is wanted by Leeds, interestingly. And maybe a big transfer for Ropas to Leeds in the summer might not be the worst idea. It would allow us to free up some money, get another striker off the books and try to refresh that and just go, you know what, maybe that one just didn't work. Maybe we didn't get the chance. I don't know. We'll have to reassess that. But if he is wanted by them, maybe there's a big money deal in there. Certainly not his release clause, that's for sure. So, uh, Ramos will come back out, although he did play well in the last game. Uh, we should be able to bring back in Zulu now. No? Is he suspended? Oh, double match suspended. So we're going to need another really good performance from, uh, from Ramos today, although he did play well against Norwich. Right, let's crack on. Super duper important. This team have literally... Uh, they're bottom of the form table, obviously. They've lost 10 out of 11 matches, and I think eight in a row. Let's make that nine. Wait, now we're at the lighthouse again. There's a picture of Carrow Road there. I think maybe the game's just got a bit confused because we've moved stadiums during the season or something. Because it says we're playing at the lighthouse, but it's got a picture of Carrow Road behind it. And on the fixture sheet, it shows that all our games are taking place at Carrow Road now. I don't know. A weird one. Uh, it must just be because the board of it are extending the stadium again in the same season. We'll know very clearly when we see the attendance in the second half. And, well, I mean, Southampton have scored. First opportunity of the game. And Cameron McEachney Mac Mac uh, gets the goal from an indirect free kick. It's been a while since we've conceded one of those. Literally the last thing that we needed to do right now was lose to Sheffield United. Probably the worst form team in the Premier League right now. Ah, uh, But we have not started this game strongly at all. No shots in nearly 20 minutes and barely any of the ball. Lasker. Flamarion. KO! Ooh, nearly trickled in. And Sal goes in behind again for... Wow. Sheffield United very nearly could have found themselves two goals to the good here. Which would just put even more pressure on the teams above. Oh my god, they've scored again. McKechnie makes it 2-0 to Sheffield United here. This is a team that have lost 10 of their last 11 league games. Bam! 2-0 up inside 20 minutes with us. Both from set pieces. It's just like that pattern. There's three players there and a guy on the line. I don't know what more you can do. I might just move to attacking now, to be honest. This would mean that Leeds are in the relegation zone at the moment with 36 points. We can't even get near them at the moment. Long ball up. Kaio with the flick on, nobody there. Oh, he's got it back though. That's some determination. Finds Wynn Billington. And yeah, that was a tough angle for Wynn. And Esteban just cuts inside and it's deflected and Griggs is there. Paleo, the guy that I tried to sign. Then again, if Sheffield United were to get relegated, he might be the solution at right back. He was the guy I wanted in the summer, but he chose the time for Sheffield United for some reason. Um, yeah, maybe he's got a release clause that we can trigger if they were to get relegated. God, they're playing some good football. If they carry on playing like this, they're unlikely to get relegated. That's what I would say. Um, I, uh, Sharia with a dreadful back pass. Mitala also at fault there. And Sheffield United, what are they? How are they playing so well? And we just look emphatically not up for it at the moment. Kayo and Dale Connor's header is over the crossbar. I mean, that was just shocking. To play that badly against such a poor side, it's just embarrassing. To have their centre-back score a brace. We're going to press more in this second half. If that's even possible, we're going to press even more. Also, we're going to stop man-marking Salga because I don't really think that was the right idea. Uh, although I think that was just a hangover from the Norwich game. Kayo. Flamarion. Oh, better. Run stuff for Billington. Can he find Kayo? Goes back for Balde. Balde skips through one challenge. Skips through another challenge and gets the shot away. Better. Ramos with room. Can he find the right pass this time? He does actually find Billington. Billington cuts through. Lovely work from Wynn. Oh, he's just... That is classic Win Billington. 
that right there is gorgeous from the lad. And you just don't, we haven't seen enough of that this season. He's not often been presented with those types of chances. So often he's been cleaned through, but just the way he gets this onto his right foot, cuts inside and just bends this one in the top corner. Whitport one, Sheffield United two, win Billington's 12th of the year. Another assist for Ramos. Vilsom, oh, Flamarion straight in there like a raptor. Goes past one. Can he slip it through? He's going to have to go alone here and he's found Billington's through again and he's miles offside. I don't know why Flamarion doesn't just shoot there. Um, yeah, I would say clearly offside that one. Like, Flamarion's through. The gap opens up because Willing Billington makes the... Di Bloody hell, that looks very, very tight against Wim Billington there. That was almost like the Flamarion one. Ramos into the back, into the channel for Kayo. Can he shed his marker? Whips it through in Billington. And Flamarion again, and it's tipped wide. Well, I... Mm. <laughs> A nice equaliser soon would really get us all on the right track. Vertelbor. Connor. Loads of room. Flamarion's in there again. Ramos will pick this up. Flamarion. Look at the overlap. Oh, fans Kayo! And it's saved again. Just keep that pressure on. Costa. Nelson again. Cutting inside. Nelson with the strike. And again, it's well saved. Buzidi will throw this long. And Kayo will actually be able to bring this down. Can he link up with Wim Billington in the correct manner? That's the question. It's just going to keep going, actually, at the moment. Finds Nelson. Puts it across for Billington, and it's back, and Billington, and, oh, just wide from Nelson. Salga, oh, just dribbles straight round, and that's going to be a brilliant save from Griggs. Connor? No, that will surely be enough, unless he can win us one more corner. I mean, somehow the game is still, and that's it. Whitport 1, Sheffield United 2. Shocking performance. Um, gave up two crappy goals and couldn't get ourselves back in front again. It was at the lighthouse. The game was just confused. Uh, really done... Yeah, that's done our chances of getting Europa League or Europa Conference absolutely zero favours. Goal difference, thankfully, better than everyone else down there. But it also puts even more pressure on Arsenal, who now find themselves seven points adrift. That is crazy. Right, game's off camera, only two of which, and we'll be back for the final day of the year. And let's face it, that, that won't be decided by then. It won't. Right, we're back. And I have no words. What a performance. Away at Liverpool. Wait, we just slow that down slightly. Actually, no, that was fine. Billington gets the ball out on the left-hand side, knocks it back inside for Lashka. Eventually, the ball is put into the box. Flamario's header, back post, 1-0 at Anfield. But things got even better as the pass from Lashka, just straight over the top, simple stuff from Wim Billington, great first touch, and just pings it home for 2-0 at Anfield. Sort of reminiscent of this weekend, in a way. And then on the 63rd minute, things got even worse for them. Uh, once again, brilliant stuff um, from Wim Billington. Just takes it there, bang. Bad goalkeeping, potentially, but a second goal of the night for Wim Billington. And he had one more trick up his sleeve, which was to provide this lovely little assist for Simon Nelson. Eventually, the ball comes to win, drops it back for Nelson. Great first touch from Nelson, pops it in the back of the net. 4 0 at Anfield. What a huge result that we really needed that after the poor game against Sheffield United. Uh, probably the biggest win we've had on this save in terms of the magnitude of it. In addition to that, Neil Cross has signed for Kansas City. Um, permanently, at the end of the season, he's leaving West Brom to go to Kansas City. What a career move. I mean,. His career just did not pan out the way we thought it would. This guy was an Irish international. He may still get games for Ireland, but like, it's crazy. And in our second game, we drew nil-nil with Manchester City. Had a pretty solid performance. They missed a penalty, had uh, Perez set off, and we could have had, we had chances to win this game, but it's, and eventually had to settle for a nil-nil draw. But clean sheets against Liverpool and City very much do make up for the fact that we sort of scuffed it up against Sheffield United. And we now actually have the eighth best defence in the Premier League, which is a step in the right direction, finally. And also... Uh, Kayo can now speak English. I thought he was already fluent, but it was obviously Flamarion. So now he is a fluent English speaker. So I do wonder if he's going to get even better next season. And I'm firmly, you know, he states his claim. He'll be in that position next year without a shadow of a doubt. He's been fantastic. And Billington has done a great job alongside him, to be fair. But we'll remain to see how that actually goes when we look at the analysis video. So now you're going to be asking yourself one big question. And I'll, I'll show you now. Here is the league. Arsenal relegated. Not just relegated, but relegated in ignominy. Um, they could actually, with things going against them today, although it seems unlikely given that West Ham are away at Chelsea, um, there is still the opportunity for Arsenal to finish bottom of the league today. They have only got 30 points. They are eight points from safety. They're not even close to safety. They've lost five in a row and they were losing some bad game, but I just figured they'd find some points in this final section. But the thing is, almost every game they've played lately, I'll show you their schedule, has been against the big sides. So after, I mean, they lost to West Ham. So yeah, they, they lost away at West Ham. They also then, as you can see here, lost at home to Manchester United, at home to Spurs, away at City, and then at home to Chelsea. To have those four games and have to get any results from them. And they just didn't. And it just completely killed them. But like, it's results like, I mean, losing 4-1 Liverpool. Losing 1-0 at Leeds. Like, 1-0 at home to Everton. 1-0 away at Wolves. 1-0 away at Norwich. These are the kind of results that have just, they've barely scored any goals this season. And I love the fact that they've actually still been competing in the Europa League up until this point. They're in the, they're in the quarterfinals of the Europa League while being relegated from the Premier League. Crazy. We are one point above Wolves with a slightly worse goal difference. They've scored more goals than us. Um, 
Wolves, who are they playing? I'll take it. Oh, they're away at Sheffield United. So we're away. I think we're going to struggle to get sixth place here. I think seventh will still give us Conference League, but there's a chance for the Europa, and I really do want to take that. So let's crack on. Um, Sheffield United or Leeds? Those are the two teams that can now be relegated. Blackhaven cannot go down after they picked up a victory. I can't remember who it was against. I think it was against Watford or someone like that. Uh, ended up on 42 points. Still a very, very bad season for them, and they do have the worst goal difference in the league. So... Honestly, another, I mean, 42 points should be plenty to stay up, but, you know, Sheffield United, Leeds are going to potentially go down here with, I mean, they could win today and still go down and have 40 points and still get relegated. It's it's nuts. Right, Man United, let's do this. Squad should be good. Zulu's picked up a slight knock, so he'll have to sit out. I think Ramos, weirdly, has actually done quite well since we've moved the system around. So I'm actually thinking that he might definitely get a second chance next year to play that role for us. And I think since we've actually really solidified things, he's got a lot better. Balde still hasn't convinced me yet, in all honesty, but maybe he needs time to learn the language. You know the drill. But as for everyone else, it's going to be the same exact lineup for sure. I'm certain that we'll get that for seventh spot. And that's a definite step in the right direction. We got 51 points last year and came, I think, ninth or eighth. And this year, we're looking like a very good sixth or seventh place with a few extra points in there. And honestly, had we, I think a full season of us playing like this, we start to get towards more like 60 points. And I think next year, with the right couple of additions, there's definitely a chance for us to be getting into the battle and starting to really increase that goal difference. Because that's the one thing. All those teams above us are in like the 30s in terms of their goal differences, whereas we were really struggling at one point and have at least improved a little bit. Oh, what a hit! Leeds are a goal up away at Brighton, and Brighton have an injury as well, which means Leeds could leapfrog Sheffield United on the final day, and Sheffield United could be relegated with 39 points. To, I mean, imagine getting relegated with 39 points in a 38-game season. Anthony's through, Greenwood's made it 1-0 to Manchester United, and that could be a problem for us, because Wolves would now leapfrog us, unless Sheffield United come up with some magic, which they really do need to now. That was just kind of bad for us. We started off so strongly, but they just got in behind us here, and it's just great vision from Anthony. I, Rashford, I mean... Greenwood looks slightly offside there, but hey, the thing is, though, if we did get into the Europa Conference League, I feel like we'd be in with a good chance at a decent run. Right, Ramos, can he make the right decision this time? No, <laughs> but come to Billington anyway. Flamarion, round the outside, can he get the shot away? And he does, as Wolves have the lead away at Sheffield United now, which I think would just put the final nail in our coffin. And it would seem that Sheffield United, despite starting incredibly strongly this season, look like they will be returning to the championship, which in a way I'm almost kind of pleased about because I do think we might be able to get Alexis Paleo from them because he looks stunning and we'll have no problems with work permits at all. It might just take us a year longer. By the way, Spurs... Probably will win the league because of goal difference they've got, which is massively better than Chelsea's. But Palace are 3-0 up against them. What is going on at Tottenham? And Bristol City, by the way, 1-0 up against Arsenal. Just to show you how bad they've been lately. They've completely thrown in the towel. 1-0 down now against Bristol City. Although it is now 3-0 to Bristol City. So hold your horses on that one, friends. Um, I'm just going to zoom this out a tiny little bit so we can see a bit more. Wait, is that a penalty to... Oh penalty to Manchester United. I was too busy looking at the league table there as Metallo was giving away a foul. GG, mate. Um, and just smashes it home for 2-0 in Manchester United. We've not been good enough today. We we can't do these kind of results consistently enough. Beating Liverpool 4-0 away from home was amazing. But I think United are actually better than Liverpool at the moment. And the draw against City was pretty good too. But we just can't string enough of these together yet, which is fair enough. We're not in that position yet. It's 4-0 to Bristol City against Arsenal. I, I don't know. For a while, they kind of kept their goal difference in check, so they were still down there and losing a lot of matches, but they weren't conceding many goals, and now they've just been absolutely hammered. Oh, and Kayo's got a goal back for us. I wasn't even paying attention there. Balde gets the goal. Well, gets the assist, and Kayo grabs... Sorry, Kayo grabs his 16th goal of the year. 16 in the league from him in the, prof in the pressing four position in the Premier League is... Very much me basically going, yes, this guy was a correct signing for us and he's been a fantastic success. Can't wait to see what he can do next year because 16 goals in the, his first season and eight assists is terrific. Oh, it's come down to Kyo. Can he score? Yes, he can. It's two all at Old Trafford and Kyo's grabbed himself a brace. Vertal ball with the assist. A horrendous error from the Manchester United defender and maybe there's still hope for us. It's unlikely though because with Wolves winning, we need to go here and win at Old Trafford. Terrible defensive header. Lovely first touch from Kyo. Great composure just to slot this home. Goalkeeper makes a mess of it and he's now got 17 goals for the season. That is very, very good. And if we were to turn this around, uh-oh. If we were to turn this around, we would get that sixth place away from Wolves. 4-1 to Leeds. Brighton are very lucky they've had some uh, solid results lately. Lasker cutting through. Oh, and it's well saved. That could have been the moment. Yep, it looks like it's going to be a two-all draw at Old Trafford, which is much better than I thought, actually. To get through these final three matches without losing is incredibly 
pleasing. Uh, it wasn't quite enough in the end for us to overcome Wolves, sadly, as they look like they've gone on a pretty comfortable victory in the end. And there we go. Man United 2, Whitport 2. Wolves do sneak sixth place out from underneath us, but I still think we'll get Europa Conference League with that. Um, Sheffield, well, look at it properly. So yeah, 4-0, in fact, it was to Southampton in the end. So Sheffield United go down with 38 points on the board. That's quite a lot, particularly in FM, I find. That's quite a lot. Leeds stay up with the 40 points there. Blackhaven with 42. 15th place finish. A very, very poor season. Uh, they've been dreadful in a lot of places. They've lost 22 times this season. Eddie Howe has got a, a lot of sorting out to do, considering the money they've spent. They did spend some money in January too. They've been dreadful. Right, let's see if that does get us European football or not. But Arsenal, to lose 4-1 to Bristol City is insane. A minus 22 goal difference and only 30 points. They will be next season in the Championship. And I, there's going to be an exodus. We'll have to have a look at some Arsenal players in the analysis video later today. Spurs won the league in the end. Uh, hilariously, their pivotal match was thrashing Blackhaven. Puts us over 100 million in the bank. This is very, very nice to see. So nothing about Europa League or Europa Conference League, though. So the budget for next year, 66 million transfer fund and 314,000 in wages, which obviously will shuffle around. That is going to give us some spending, man. And now the board are extending the stadium, uh, which will be done by... Oh, no, not by the start of the season. Okay, they changed their mind. So another few seats there. And more youth facilities too. Right, here we go. FA Cup final. Liverpool Spurs. Spurs win. Does that mean what I think it means? It would appear not. Does England not get a place in the Conference League? And that's all the cup winners. So who gets the spot then? I think we are going to be playing in it next season. I think. Well, regardless, we will figure that out. I think we will be playing in some European football next year, which is sick. Kayo, by the way... What a finish. Eight man of the match awards this year. He's really been under the radar a little bit. Nearly player of the season potential. He's been so damn good. Fair play. And Simon Nelson putting some shifts in. Right, let's see what other leagues are looking like. So the championship is Fulham versus Ipswich Town in the final. Ah, oh, wow. Fulham, look at this. Look at the draws. Christ. Bournemouth and West Brom going up. No nil cross to be seen, of course. Huddersfield, Pompey and Wigan relegated from the championship. In League One, Sunderland versus Hull is the playoff. So Sunderland bouncing back up quite nicely after their sojourn to League Two. Uh, Charlton win the league despite a poor finish there with Middlesbrough going up with them. Shrewsbury, Peterborough, Cardiff going back down though. And Bristol Rovers. We've got Walsall as an affiliate side now as well, by the way. Colchester versus Port Vale in League Two. Up comes Southend, Donny and Exeter City. Down go Boreham Wood and Boston United. Oof. And in the National League, Newport County win the playoff against Gillingham, along with Salford City, who come up with 95 points. Down go Barrow, Morecambe, Alfreton, and Aldershot Town. So, all in all, I think we've had a solid season. Like, very few defeats towards the end here. We had that poor spell here, where we really were dreadful. But we've really stepped things up again. And I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the performance with most of the players. I think we've, we've got a, a plan going forward now. We can move in the right direction. And I think next year with the right signings, we can really make something of this team. And I'm looking forward to it immensely. Uh, so yeah, if you've enjoyed the season, drop a like. That would be spectacular. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That would be awesome too. And I'll join, uh, stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and other weekends. So I will join you guys there as well. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun, Captain Bar. Bye-bye.